Hey Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Lou. Welcome back to my channel. With a new year on our hands, it's a no-brainer that this week I highlight what 2022 has in store for us in space and astronomy. So let's begin. Capstone is NASA's Lunar Halo Orbiter. Due to launch in March, this CubeSat is just the size of a microwave oven. Capstone stands for Cislunar Autonomous Positioning System, Technology Operations and Navigation Experiment. As part of NASA's Artemis mission to the moon, this satellite is a demonstration mission to understand the characteristics of the orbit that the upcoming lunar space station, the Lunar Gateway, will navigate in the future. Gaganyan is India's answer to human spaceflight. This autonomous orbital spacecraft is being designed to take three people to space, allowing them to orbit the Earth much beyond the Kármán line at 400 kilometers altitude for up to seven days. While still in its early phases, we are expecting the first uncrewed test flight for June this year, giving SpaceX a run for their money. The United Launch Alliance, ULA, is a spacecraft launch service provider that has been manufacturing and launching spacecraft for NASA and the US Department of Defense since its formation in 2006. The maiden flight of their heavy launch vehicle, Vulcan Centaur, is expected in the middle of 2022. It will be able to carry crewed spacecraft such as the Boeing Starliner and other heavy payloads into geostationary orbit. On this particular launch, it's expected to bring private space company, Astrobotic Technologies, Peregrine Lunar Lander to the moon. NASA's year in 2022 is largely focused around asteroids. The Psyche mission will visit a metal-rich asteroid, 16 Psyche, that scientists believe could be the exposed nickel-iron core of a protoplanet, the early stages of a planet. This planet would have been as large as Mars, but it's lost its surface in a series of violent collisions. Psyche will launch in August along with NASA's other asteroid mission, Janus. Janus comprises of two spacecraft that will visit two pairs of binary asteroids. These small and agile satellites, each one about the size of a carry-on suitcase, aim to study the formation and evolutionary implications for small rubber pile-like asteroids. August will be a big month for space. In August, we will also see South Korea's first lunar mission, the Korea Pathfinder Lunar Orbiter. Whilst this orbiter is equipped with an array of scientific instruments to investigate the lunar environment, topography and resources, what's most intriguing in my opinion is that it will demonstrate the first space internet. It seems that Korea is only just getting started with space. This mission will additionally identify potential landing sites for future missions to land on the moon. Of course, the most anticipated space mission of 2022 has to be ESA and Roscosmos's Rosalind Franklin rover launching in September. If successful, this will be ESA's first successful lander on the planet of Mars. The autonomous rover will explore the surface of Mars with its two stereo camera pairs, giving it almost a 3D-like view of the planet. And it's on a mission to search for biomolecules of biosignatures from past life. As you may know, I previously worked on the ExoMars program, which this mission is a part of, but unfortunately, it won't be landing for another year. Chinese Academy of Sciences, CAS, will launch Einstein probe at the end of 2022. 
This space observatory is the best suited mission to discover and study X-ray transient sources and tidal disruption events, where stars come too close to a supermassive black hole that they are essentially shredded into pieces. New Glenn is Blue Origin's answer to heavy lift launch vehicle. Like the New Shepard, this rocket will be reusable, but it will go beyond suborbital altitudes. This will be competition for SpaceX's Falcon Heavy and ULA's Vulcan Center, but these rockets are expendable. Last but not least, at the end of 2022, we also hope to see the maiden flight of Ariane 6, Europe's launch vehicle set to replace the current Ariane 5. This vehicle will bring double the payload capacity at half of the price, essentially giving Europe easier access into space. So that's my 10 highlights to come of 2022. I'm sure you'll hear more about them in my later videos. Let me know below what you're most excited for in 2022. And in the meanwhile, don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.